Alright, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Apex Legends video and in today's video guys We're gonna be going over my settings to make my game run smoother to make my uh, Muzzle flash go away to make the sun lighting less, you know strong and less annoying in your face Type uh, type stuff, you know to just make the game better overall better FPS better performance and just uh, overall You're gonna be playing better after this so Let's get right into it guys we're going to start off with the regular settings and what i run and what i recommend you guys do run so when it comes to gameplay i don't really change anything then when we go over to video this is where i start changing stuff so there's the field of view 110 you guys can play on whatever you want but under 100 i feel like it's too low uh anything higher is good in my opinion then sprint view shake make sure you put that to minimal uh, this is the first thing we're gonna do guys it's just the regular settings it's not the complicated stuff and even the other stuff is not that complicated uh v-sync you want that disabled at all times then the anti-aliasing honestly this is personal preference i feel like with it my game looks better and i just like the way it looks i think it looks glitchy with it off but that's just a personal preference like i said if you guys want it on keep it on if you guys want it off keep it off uh if you guys have a really bad pc really low end pc definitely go ahead and turn that off uh, it'll help your performance out uh then texture streaming budget i have a 1080 ti and i stream on a different pc than i play on so i can afford to make it high but if you guys stream and play on the same pc or your pc is just a low-end pc and you guys can't even run those settings without streaming uh definitely go ahead and make it to none or maybe very low try the try both uh i, I think none is probably the best if you have a low-end pc and texture fi filtering i don't really recommend turning this any higher than byline here it doesn't matter if you have a high-end pc or low-end pc it doesn't really change much uh you know it looks a little bit better but i don't think it's worth the fps drop uh then ambient occlusion and quality definitely turn that off that's really bad for fps then sun shadow coverage low and shadow detail low that you'd really want that low spot shadow detail disabled uh volumetric lining disabled disabled uh, model detail high this is because i want my models right here my characters to look decent if you turn that all the way down uh to low and then turn that all the way low your character looks like a potato and i personally don't like it but like i said for low npcs you would rather have a lot of fps than uh you know your game run like shit and look good so definitely put that all the way low if you guys have a low npc and effect detail low impact marks disabled and ragdolls low that is it for the video settings guys pretty simple pretty much everything on low aside from a couple things on my rig but if you have a lower end rig definitely put everything low and disable after that guys i'm gonna need you to close your game and go to your settings on apex legends on the launcher go to game properties go to the advanced launch options and copy this aside from the last one it depends what kind of uh, what kind of monitor you have if you have a 144 hertz monitor 240 hertz monitor or 60 hertz monitor which i highly hope you guys don't have a 60 hertz monitor because that's terrible but 144 is my monitor so that's what i put it at but just change that number to whatever your monitor uh, refresh rate is and uh, just copy paste all that it'll be in the description down below it'll be on top and uh definitely copy that and change the uh last thing for your monitor refresh rate after that what you guys want to do is go to your local disc go to program files 86 go to origin games apex and then cfg and then in this folder this we're going to be doing most of the work for this video so you guys are going to be wanting to take this file right here config default pc copy paste it in the same folder and then rename it to auto exec i already made one so i'm going to go ahead and delete that one it was just an example uh, to show you guys but you guys just want to copy paste it and then rename it to this do not delete this file by any means uh, if anything fucks up which it shouldn't uh definitely you want to have this file to rely on so you can just delete this one and make it work again normally but uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and open this file and I'm going to show you guys what everything does. And uh, you guys are going to want to copy paste this from the description and put it into your uh, auto exec that you just created. So starting from top to bottom, guys, the first few things, uh, you know, banner removal, uh, you know, mask screen blur enabled. That is for your uh, menu blur Then rotating mini map right here. HUD setting mini map rotate uh, ping and banner transparency so you can see through uh you know it's, it doesn't get in the way of you you know shooting at people and stuff like that fps max zero that is to uncap your frame rate if you don't want your uh, frame rate to be uncapped at you know unlimited you guys can go ahead and put the number right here in fps max that you guys want it to be capped at definitely uh, i would keep it uncapped but that's just what i enjoy if you guys don't want uh, uh, uncapped fps then definitely go ahead and cap it uh, or you could just delete the command and it'll cap your fps automatically at 144 
then you know set to zero for no tracer on your bullets uh i keep that as one because i do like to have you know bullet tracers i don't like muzzle flash but i like bullet tracers all these commands do is that the sun will not be as you know strong and as annoying as it used to be uh then sprint view shake style obviously let's head bob when you like fall uh off a cliff or something that you're not gonna you know hit bob as much then mouse options this the, overall all of this is for you know make sure your mouse excel is turned off and then less input lag in your mouse that's pretty cool the audio commands uh these we're not even sure if they actually like do help uh those would be to help you know with footsteps uh from other games uh so don't those might not be working but you know you may as well use them i think they might help a little bit and they might help raise the sound of the footsteps then muzzle flash removal just copy paste that everything should be already good uh and then all of these down here are for fps boots so a lot of uh graphical things world shadows you know shadows in general uh a lot of stuff i'm not gonna read every single one to you guys because it would take forever and tell you guys what it does but this is all for fps just know that most comments here are free FP fps improvements feel free to adjust them if you'd like a bit more quality so that's pretty much it guys that is the config file if you guys want to have this in your cfg folder save it go ahead and close it make it uh you know call it auto exec make sure it's called auto exec no mistake or it won't work then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and launch the game if you go over to your origin launcher uh make sure again that you have here exec auto exec in your command lines this is really really important for to make sure it will save all your settings and stuff like that uh and we're gonna get into a game into a training mode and i'm gonna show you guys everything it does uh at least that you can see so here we are we're in game and i'm gonna show you guys everything that changed okay but 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 can i can i can i can i can i, can I talk so there we go there is the changes to the muzzle flash i'm gonna show you guys right now but it's, it's night and day right pretty much like have you guys you guys will not ever run into any like issue of not being able to see people anymore this is just fantastic and no this is not bannable guys nobody has been banned for removing muzzle flash it's totally people even do it in scrims pro players like especially when playing pubs like i would not worry about anything now you guys will be all right so this is how it is guys how it feels how it looks uh, also guys the shadows if you guys look around there's no shadows uh something else the menu it's now transparent you can see through while you're looting which is pretty cool uh what else what else what else what else am i forgetting oh the sun it's not as you know it's pretty bright still but it's not as you know personally i don't find it as annoying to deal with when it's like this so the sun not as bright one last thing guys to improve your performance in apex legends uh is to go to the control panel go to system go to power and sleep additional power settings and make sure this is set to high performance this will help your performance high uh your performance a lot and it will just make your game run smoother overall so that is pretty much everything guys for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy this video it should help out with your game should help out with your performance muzzle flash all that stuff it's really really fun uh and really you know it's just, it just makes the game much more enjoyable in my opinion so i hope you guys enjoy like i said Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.